Hello everyone. Welcome to the Book Venturist. Wish you a happy new year. In the previous chapter, we saw Margaret and Sir Andrew arriving at Cali to find Sir Percy. Did they find him? Let us see what happens next in chapter 23. Hope. Margaret wanted to ask more questions to Brogard, but Sir Andrew stopped her because there may be spies around them. Sir Andrew said, The walls in front have ears. Margaret asked, Can we talk here? He said, But be cautious, madam. Margaret said, I am filled with joy. Our boat is on the beach. My husband will be here within half an hour and Shavlon and his gang have not yet arrived. But why do you have a glum face? Sir Andrew said, I saw Shavlon at Dover on the beach at the same time when we started. I heard him bargaining for a boat. He must have set sail after an hour we did. I did not say this to you earlier because you will be alarmed. Margaret's face quickly lost its joy. Shavlon already knew the plans where Arman, Comte Tourney and other fugitives would meet today. Mostly, it would be at a place called Per Blanchard's Heart. Sir Andrew said, Shavlon knows this place from the papers he stole and after landing he will come straight here. Margaret said, We are early by an hour. Percy will be here soon and we will be on the boat to England when Shavlon will be here. Sir Andrew said, Do you think that Sir Percy would leave Calais without completing his mission? Comte de Tournay, Armand Saint Just and others are waiting for the Scarlet Pimpernel who has pledged to take them safely to England. There was silence. Margaret buried her face in her hands and started crying because she was being selfish thinking only about her husband's safety but totally forgot about her brother Armand. Margaret said, You are right. We should not waste time. You go to find Sir Percy and warn him. I will wait here. This will save our time. Sir Andrew said, But this place is dangerous, madam. To which she said, I do not mind. Can you ask the owner of this place a separate room for me? I can be safer. Offer him more money. Sir Andrew obeyed her words, took some money out of his pocket and went to find Brogard. He asked for a free room. Brogard pointed over a place in the attic which was covered by a curtain. Margaret found the place better than all the other rooms. Andrew said, Never reveal yourself to Sir Percy unless you are certain that you are alone with him, madam. Margaret said, Do not be afraid. I'll be careful. He said, If I am not able to find Sir Percy within half an hour, I will return here. Then he bid farewell to Margaret and walked out into the night. Hope you like this chapter. Stay tuned to know what happens next. Like, share and subscribe to the Book Venturist. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.